good morning everybody welcome to my channel blue lady couture um i thought i would just jump on quickly this morning just do a quick roundup of the year really um and talk about th things i've done things that have happened and where i'm hoping to go in the new year the new decade which is very exciting um you quite can't see him he's just a camera but i'm joined today um by my little furry companion pesky the bunny pesky by name and definitely pesky by nature he might come around the other side um, at some point in this video but or if you can hear any noises that's just him scurrying around um so i just thought I'd, yeah i'm sitting in the corner of the room where i normally do my photography um you might recognize um from some of my other my social media accounts the, the picture behind me so yeah this is the corner normally at the moment where i do my uh, my photography on my mannequins are you gonna go away you're just gonna abandon me um, so yeah, it's the 20th of December today. Tomorrow is the shortest day of the year, Yule, if you celebrate that. Um, it's a Friday. Um, and Christmas obviously falls on Wednesday next week. So it's very much a winding down of the year. Oh, hello. Are you going to come say hello? Are you going to say hello to everybody? Look at you. Yes, you are. Cute bunny. Good boy. You've distracted me now and I can't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, because you're so cute. I've got most of my sewing for this year, this week, out of the way. I've got a little bit of finishing off to do this afternoon. Um, but other than that, I am planning to take a two-week... Don't bite the back of my trousers. That's naughty. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm planning to take a two-week... Not break from work but break from actual sewing um it can be quite intensive when you're sewing near or less day in day out every kind of day um of the year so it's nice to give my brain a little bit of a rest um a, a creative break as you will if you will um just to refresh ready for the new year so although i won't be sewing for the next two weeks i do have some other projects to do um work related um i need to have a good tidy up of the studio as you can probably imagine a year's worth of sewing leaves a bit of a mess and i'm a bit of a pain for tidying up after myself i like to roll from one sort of project to the next um so stuff doesn't always get put away as tidily as it should do um, and you'll see some of that in a future video um, that will be coming out hopefully very soon um, why I'm having to do a little bit of a tidy up uh, and I'm gonna have a bit of a revamp as well I need to reorganize some of my storage because I have so much fabric now some is just fabric that I've collected from my stash but it's also fabric um, that's ready and waiting for customers that are already booked into my schedule for next year um, so yeah, so that's, I've got a lot of fabric which needs to be kept nice and neat and tidy where I know where it is, where I can see what it is. Um, and yeah, and at the moment I'm, I'm not making the best use of the space and the storage that's in my workroom. So that's a big project for me to do in the next couple of weeks. So while there's no major sewing deadlines, I can actually, you know, pull the studio to bits a little bit and uh, give you a good sort out already and refreshed for the new year. Um, so what else? Can we talk about so as some of you may know um i had an operation um in july on my ear um i won't go into the details because it's pretty grim and pretty gory um it's quite a nasty operation um and i've been recovering from that and actually today is i've got an appointment um in a little while with my consultant at the hospital um, I'm hoping to have my first hearing test since I had the operation in July. Um, it's very much, it's the second time I've seen a consultant, but it will be the first time, hopefully, that they'll do a hearing test to see how the hearing's doing. Last time I saw him, it was still, well, it still is, it's healing, um, and a lot of the uh, the the muscle, the cartilage, um, and the sort of the, the nerves um, all around the ear are still a little bit des desensitised, um, for want of a better word, um, not sore, it's not really painful, um, I've not got any issues like that, um, but it's just when the nerves get damaged during the operation, um, it can take a long, long time for that to recover and the, the nerves to get back to normal. Um, so because of that, they haven't been able to do a proper hearing test um, 
that so far so I'm hoping that they'll do that today um, and then it'll be yeah to see what they say hopefully it's all gonna be looking good because I was very happy with me last time I saw him so fingers crossed um, yeah we can put the being away and ill of some operations behind us and we can move forward into 2020 um, I am expecting that at some point I probably am going to need another hearing aid because you, if, you, if you've seen some of my videos or you know me in person you'll know I, I do have a hearing aid on that ear I, I expect that I'm probably going to need a hearing aid in this ear at some point whether they'll uh, suggest that today I don't know um, but it just means you know at the end of the day it's it's there to help me because um, it's no good when I'm dealing with customers in I'm at a crowded trade event and I can't hear people when there's a lot of background noise I can't always focus in even if someone's right in front of me I find it very hard to hear certain levels of sound um, and obviously people talk at different volumes different pitches and I can't always some people I can hear really clearly other people I just just can't focus in on what they're saying which obviously can be be a problem um, so yeah so hopefully um, it won't be yeah, won't be an issue going forward um, and we can carry on from there. So yeah, so that's the, the health side of things. What else can we talk about? So we've had lots of exciting projects that I've done this year. Um, I don't like to pick favourite projects because obviously every customer, every every sort of project that they ask me to work on is special to them. Um, so I don't like to yeah pick a, a favourite project. Um, but I could certainly pick some of my more interesting projects. Um, I'm probably going to put the Pennywise Clowns up there as one of the most interesting projects I've done this year. Um, they were they were great fun to work on um, and a lovely uh, pair of customers to work with. Um, but yeah, when you're asked to do a commission based on a costume for a film that you've never seen and quite frankly don't want to ever see. <laughs> it's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> so I had to yeah, use lots and lots of film film stills um, but without actually seeing the film itself because I don't do horror films. No, just just not for me. <laughs> and I'm not no, I'm not too bothered by, by clowns really i mean the really creepy ones i mean if you've seen the photos the photo shoot that came out of uh, this uh, that the, my customers did for this is yeah it's enough to scare anyone <laughs> uh, so if i put a clip in or a, a, a still in here i apologize in advance a trigger warning i am going to now put potentially put some clowns here you've been warned you might want to skip ahead um very quickly um, but yeah, so that was yeah, a really good fun challenge um, to put a steampunk twist on the Pennywise Clowns inspired by both the, the 2016 film and the original 1990s film. <laughs> so yeah, so that, that was really, yeah, a really good fun challenge. Um, what else can I celebrate for this year? Um, my Etsy store has continued to do really well, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, Etsy have introduced lots of changes this year. I won't go into details because um, it's, it's a bit boring and it's all kind of behind the scenes stuff that you're probably not really interested in. But as a seller, um, keeping on top of, you know, I just like to make the pretties for people. Um, so focusing on the businessy side of the business can be a challenge sometimes um so i've yeah um you know you want to just kind of have your store running and be able to have the orders come in and, and work on the orders it's not always as straightforward as that so yeah so it's been an interesting year on etsy but i can't complain um i was very worried um when they introduced some changes at the beginning of the year that it was going to cause me uh, big problems uh, going forward um as especially as a lot of my customer base is in America um, and they're introducing some changes to uh, that would basically um, give American sellers more visibility than in international you know UK European sellers yeah so basically I was yeah concerned that uh, my American client base on Etsy might drop um, but that appears to have not been the case 
very grateful to all my American and international customers for continuing to support this small little UK business. Um, obviously things in the UK are interesting at the moment. Um, I'm not going to, into the detail of politics and the whole European Union situation because yeah, we'll just, yeah. Obviously we now know that it is very likely, you know, to happen on the 31st of January. Um, and you know, we'll just have to deal with it um, and see what comes. Um, I guess what I would say is, you know, where you can, please, please, please continue to support, you know, small businesses in the UK. You know, we, this isn't something we all wanted. Um, we're not sure what the outcome is going to be long term, you know, financially, economically, but it's happening. So we are going to have to deal with it. Um, and the best way we can deal with it is for you to continue to support us um, and that's probably my biggest plea going forward into I mean I think I said this at the start of 2019 um, you know, obviously we, we were pretty certain that we were going to be living in March um, but we didn't and we're still here um, but it is now looking very very definite that we will be leaving the European Union on the 31st of January so yeah so my plea continues really for 2020 and beyond just continue to support us because we are really going to need your support in the in the coming uh, weeks months maybe even years so yeah so probably that's probably where i'm going to leave that say so just support us if you can if you can't buy from small businesses i appreciate it. it's not always you know, cost effective for you to to buy from a small business we can be more expensive i'm not going to deny that but at the very least, please support us on social media, share our posts, comment on our posts, because it all helps us to reach a, a bigger audience and be seen. Um, and that would be really, really appreciated if you could do that for me and other small businesses as well. That would be really appreciated. Um, so what else? Yeah. Um, well, I'll probably talk a little bit about going into 2020 because I'm probably, I'm just going to have a quick look at the time because I need to go... too bad I got too bad I need to leave at about 10 o'clock because I've got to drive it's between well I've got to go get some diesel for the car um on the way and then I've got to drive to the hospital um and my hospital is uh, it's not my local hospital in Lincoln it's actually um at Doncaster which is yeah <laughs> a little bit it's further away although but it's I, I was able to get the reason I'm there is because I could see the consultant quicker uh, my very very original early appointments I was quicker to see my consultant at Doncaster than it was to see a consultant at my nearest hospital Lincoln so that's why I go to Doncaster hospital but it's yeah can be 40 minutes to an hour's drive away so I have to leave at about 10 to allow time to get diesel and get there and have my appointment um so yeah anyway <laughs> so I'm going to talk for a little while longer and and then I will wrap up this video um so yeah going forward into 2020 um some of you may have seen on my social media oh that might be something i can talk about before i talk about going well maybe hmm. yeah i'll talk about going forward into to 2020 actually um it's this channel youtube um something that i kind of dabbled with and thought about for a little while um and i've made real effort with it uh, the last when did I start? Uh, August was when I first started properly putting videos out um, and I've managed to be fairly consistent with getting out a video a month and that's something I hope to continue with. Um, I'd love to know in the comments the kind of videos you'd like to see. Do you like the videos I've done so far? Um, my kind of so along, sort of following me through with projects. Um, it's, you know, what, what, do they work for you? Would you like to see more detail, um, different kinds of videos? I've got some ideas. Um, as I kind of alluded to um, earlier in this video, um, I'm hoping to get some, a video out just before the end of the year, which is my going to be my revamping my studio. So there'll be a, a workroom tour, um, a, work, a brief workroom tour as it is now. So you can see how, yeah, messy this <laughs> I'm not proud of it um but I can show a before and an after so yeah you'll get a brief glimpse at how my video 
for my video how my workroom looks at the moment um and then there'll be some time lapse stuff um, i did a trip to ikea i vlogged in ikea <laughs> Um, so if you want to see that, um, you know, check out my coming videos. Um, and then I'm also going to do a, a time lapse, kind of putting together the, the units, the storage units that I've bought, um, and reorganising the workroom um, as well. Um, and then I'll do a final new uh, room tour video, workroom tour video as well. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see those, let me know. Um, but, well, you're going to see them because that's what my plan is at the moment. <laughs> So yeah, so keep an eye out on my channel, um, hopefully before the new year, um, that's my plan, you know, as, while I'm not having a full festive break of doing absolutely nothing, I will be working, as I am one of the things to do is to get those videos out as well. Um, and yeah, and then I've got some plans for some videos in the new year as well. Um, also, I'm hoping to do some more sew along projects. My thing with the sew along projects is I try not to do customer projects, um, just also, I don't always know what the end product or the end use that the customer is going to use them for. So if they're if they are buying them for a you know a wedding or an event, um, they sometimes want to keep things under wraps, um, you know, until they've been released. So I don't always like to put the things I've made out there too soon. Um, you know, after I've made them, and obviously not everybody wants to know the ins and outs of how their, their outfit is being made. You know, and obviously if I'm <laughs> You know, I'm only human. If I make mistakes and things like that, I, I don't really want that to be seen on. Oh, that sounds really awful. Not that there's loads of mistakes in my work, you know, but mistakes do happen. There might be some unpicking. I may occasionally have to maybe recut a panel because I, I sewed something wrong. You know, it, it happens. You know, I'm only human. Um, but I don't necessarily want that translating into you know my my customer work. Um, so my solo projects tend to be projects for myself or my husband, you know, or if I'm doing something a bit different, um, you know, you might see that, um, being recorded. Um, because it's very much, you know, if the sewing long is about challenging myself a little bit to do something a bit different, a bit, you know, a, um, a new technique, um, perhaps working with a, a new fabric, trying out a new style that may eventually become a product that goes into my Etsy store that you can then order. Um, but I need to try these things out first. I can't just say, well, I can make this, you know, but, you know, there's nothing to show for it. You know, there's no, you know, images, no um, final product photographs. So I have to make sample pieces, you know, in advance and then eventually add them to Etsy once I'm happy with the process that I can do the process and the time it takes me to do the process because that obviously helps me to price things properly yeah <laughs> so yeah so the so long projects will be very much yeah um as and when I can I have the time to in between customer orders to make um, new items um, and obviously that could be a challenge when I am busy which is something I will come on to talk about in a minute as well um other video ideas I've got is obviously we're heading into a new decade the 2020s which is very exciting um and yeah there's a, a lot of nostalgia around for the 1920s you know which is understandable um and there's been a lot of there's a lot of bad stuff in the news at the moment bad stuff going on in the world um and it, in some ways it's very reminiscent of the 1920s um you know we'd just come out of the first world war um the you know people in Europe were devastated, um, and the young people at that time were just hello, you back again. Um, the young people at that time, you know, the world had changed, um, and the nineteen twenties was very much a big era of change. And I want to say, in a positive way, I think that's something we're going to see in the twenty twenties. I think there's going to be a lot of change again. Um, and I think it should be something to be celebrated. Um, and yeah, I think the, the 2020s, like the 1920s, should be about living life to the full, really. Um, you know, we get one short stint on this earth and I don't think you should waste it. Um, and yeah, you should do, I know it's not always easy to say, you know, do what makes you happy. Um, but I really do think you have to, you have to embrace, yeah, those things and, and go for it. If, if you can, wherever possible, you know, whatever small little thing it is. Um, so yeah, so coming back to uh, videos and costuming, um, I do have a very small collection of original garments um, 
I've collected um, and inherited um, as well. And one of them is a an original 1920s um, well, flap address, yeah, for want of a, a better word, it's yeah, not really a flap address, but it's it's of that era, um, the late 1920s. So I'm hoping to do a video um, showing you that, um, which I thought you might find interesting. So again, it's a slightly different type of video, um, and I'm, I'm very interested, because obviously my channel is very new still at the moment, um, so I'm still finding out what you guys like, what you like to see, what you want to see, and what you find most interesting and what kind of engagement I get back from you. So, you know, if you like my videos, please do give them a thumbs up um, or give me a comment um, because that all helps me to understand what videos you're enjoying. Um, I'm sure this video is going to be hated because it's just me rambling on, not doing very much with the occasional, yeah, gratuitous bunny shot. Are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Oh, hello. Hiding. The light's too bright. I know. I know. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping to do a little mini-series of just looking at some of the original uh, outfits that I've got in my little collection. It's not a lot, um, but I thought it might be interesting for you to see, um, and who knows, I might get some more pieces um, as time goes on and I can add those to that little uh, uh, video collection. Um, so yeah, um, and I've got a few other ideas as well. Um, so yeah, so... I think I'm just going to wrap up this video by heading into orders and customers um, for the year ahead. Um, if you've been following my social media, you'll know that in October I became booked up to the end of 2019. Um, and as it stands of today, I am now taking bookings into February uh, next year. So January is completely full up. There's, you know, I've got no room. Um, and I expect really that in the next, really in the next couple of weeks, um, February is going to be pretty full up as well so I implore you if you are looking for outfits for events for next year please do not leave it too late to get in touch because I just cannot guarantee um, the, the space in my schedule um yeah so items in my classic collection generally um, I think I've, my current schedule on Etsy is set at eight to ten weeks Eight, no, I might have dropped that down to eight. Yeah, definitely about eight weeks. So just to give you an idea. Okay, so if you order something today, um, you are looking, it's going to be mid-February, um, really, that you're, that is looking to be to shipped out, to ship out. Um, so, yeah, um, if you've got a bigger project in mind, a, you know, a fancier outfit that's going to need a, a bit more work, a bit more in-depth, um, consultation to sort out different fabrics um, exactly what you want um that may take longer so yeah if you're looking for events for you know midsummer um, i think we've got uh steampunk summer balls um not summer ball uh, a may day it's a may ball a steampunk may ball i think yeah, at the beginning of may this year you've got the prior attire uh victorian ball i think it's the same weekend um dapper day if you do dapper events and you're interested in me making something for that um yeah they start april into may um and then of course we've got um of those other big events um one that's on my radar at the moment is fantasy forest um it seems to be a big upcoming event it was very popular last year there's a lot of it all over my social media um i'm hoping to attend it this year i don't know about trading whether to just go as a a, a day guest um but yeah that's july um and then of course we've got the uh the, the asylum steampunk festival is in august um and there's lots of other steampunk events as well so there's there's far too many to name but yeah um if you've got an event that you are going to even if you're not interested in and having a costume made do let me know about your, about your events because i really want to be able to compile a, a kind of a calendar list um so i know roughly when events are um um that you know potentially need costumes for um just so i can like, put little prods out on on social media um just to you know keep pe pick people's interest if that's yeah i hope that makes sense um and it is it's useful for me as well to know kind of what events you're interested in what types of costumes um and outfits you might be requiring um yeah it's just forward planning um so yeah do let me know um, and I say, if you are looking to have an outfit made by me this year, 
please, please, please don't leave it too late to get in touch because I just cannot guarantee the space in my schedule um, at short notice. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to end this video by saying thank you very much for your continued support and patronage um, for the past year. Um, I look forward to working with you next year. And all that remains to be said is I hope you have a wonderful festive season, Christmas, Yule, however you celebrate. Um, have a great new year. Um, stay safe. Keep warm. Um, and I shall see you for the new decade in January 2020. Uh, but don't forget, I, there will be some videos and social media posts going out in the next couple of weeks. I won't be completely radio silent, um, but there won't be any sewing updates from me as such. So yeah, so take care everyone, have a great festive season, and I will see you in the new year. Bye! You gonna say bye as well? face <laughs> yeah, it's as living don't you just love it <laughs> <laughs>